National Park here in Greensboro is celebrating a piece of local history. Tonight kicks off a, this event series for the anniversary of the Battle of the Guilford Courthouse. Now there are several ways for community members to get involved from now through Sunday, and it's all happening inside the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park. So here to tell us more is Aaron LaRocca, the superintendent of the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park. Good morning, Aaron. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's start with this lecture series. What are the three topics you're hitting on with that? Yeah, really excited about this year's lecture series. It's the 243rd anniversary of the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. So we have three presenters Wednesday night, Thursday night and Friday night. And we're hosting this or co-hosting this with our philanthropic partner, the Guilford Battleground Company. The first topic is about North Carolina's black patriots. And that's gonna be a presentation by Mr. Trevor Freeman. On Thursday night, Mr. Lawrence Babbitts, who wrote the definitive text about the Battle of Guilford Courthouse, will talk about some new research that he did on the north flank of the, the defensive lines at the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. And then Friday, also at 7 p.m., we're hosting Dr. Shirley Green. Dr. Green is gonna be the first African-American woman to present in the park's lecture series history. And she's gonna talk, uh, she's gonna deliver a discussion about her book entitled Revolutionary Blacks, Discovering the Frank Brothers, Freeborn Men of Color, Soldiers of Independence. So we're really excited for that lecture on Friday evening. It's funny, just so much history under our noses mm -hmm. that a lot of folks don't realize is there. So it's, I think it's really cool that you guys hold this event every year. Aaron, can you talk about some of the weekend performances and, and hit on the reenactment too? Sure, so the reenactment happens next door at Country Park, um, but to complement that reenactment, the National Park Service hosts a number of other events that the public can learn to provide some additional context for that reenactment. So. Um, for the first time since COVID, the Carolina Colonial Dancers will be presenting and that will happen in the Visitor Center at 1130 on Saturday and Sunday when the battle reenactment happens at two o'clock Saturday and Sunday at Country Park. And we hear you have uh, tours of battle, the battlefield. What will be seen during those battlefield tours? Yes, that's right. At 10, 12 and 3, we have battlefield tours where volunteers and park rangers kind of walk you through the battle dynamics, the movement of the troops, the defensive positions, and the outcome of that battle. And then we also have musket and uh, artillery demonstrations at 11 o'clock and one o'clock, both Saturday and Sunday. And all of these programs are free. Wow. Love to highlight that, especially <laughs> for those who can attend. Aaron, who do you think should be attending this and what kind of message or history lesson are you hoping mm -hmm. that they, they get from this? The mission of the Park Service is to protect this place for future generations. And there's only 12 NPS employees with this huge goal of protecting this place for future generations in perpetuity. So I invite everybody to come out and find something that is meaningful for you in these events. If you're able to connect to Guilford Courthouse National Military Park, either through the dance or through the lecture series or through the battlefield tours, that connection, in theory, hopes uh, we hope that it'll inspire you to be an advocate of Guilford Courthouse National Military Park so you can help the staff protect this place for future generations. You can be a co-steward of Guilford Courthouse National Military Park. Aaron, I love your passion about this mm -hmm. too, and I really wish you a, a great success this weekend. Before we let you go, we also hear there's big changes coming to the park's trails. Can you talk about that? Yes, yeah, so um, next week we're going to kick off a trail rehabilitation project and that trail rehabilitation project really has two goals. Um, in a lot of sections of the trail, the asphalt is crumbling and suffering from root heaves. So we're going to resurface the, uh, the entire trail to get rid of some of those safety issues. And then we're also going to uh, increase accessibility around the visitor center and some of the other key areas of the park, like the Green Monument. So. We're really excited about that project. It will have impacts the visiting public. We'll need to close trails. There'll be construction vehicles on the tour road. So visitors should check our website for updates about the phasing of that project. But like I said, it'll start next week and last into the fall. 
Okay. Thank you so much, Aaron, for your time this morning. We appreciate it. What an educational weekend is ahead. The Battle Anniversary <laughs> Lecture Series will kick off tonight at 7, and then two more lectures tomorrow and Friday, also at 7. The Battle of Guilford Courthouse reenactment will be held on Saturday and Sunday. You can always learn more about each event by visiting nps.gov slash g-u-c-o. <laughs>